between an archaeological dig and the Nazi death camps in Europe. Jerusalem high school students excavating in Ramat Beit Shemesh are helping the Antiquities Authority uncover an ancient Jewish site, and the fees they are earning are funding their school trip to Poland. IBA's Ari O'Sullivan reports. Eight months ago, the Antiquities Authorities were summoned to carry out a salvage dig on this hilltop in Ramat Beit Shemesh before a housing complex was built. Well, it seems someone beat them to it by about 2,000 years. We found all kinds of carved um, structures that, silos, uh, mikvehs, water cisterns, that the people who lived here used. What period is it from? So it's second period, second temple period, but we know we find um, hiding, hiding places from um, Bar Kokhva's period, mm -hmm. and we know by the pottery and the finds that the settlement continued until the Bar Kokhva married. From the ritual baths, it's clear that this was a Jewish settlement during the time of the Second Temple. The houses are gone, there are stones used by later residents, but their basements remain, and many contain mikvahs, or ritual baths. They also uncovered an underground tunnel network used by Jewish rebels in the Second Revolt against the Romans led by Shimon Bar Kokhva. The digs are continuing on the slopes. Students from Boyer High School in Jerusalem have left the classroom to help excavations. As we were there, they uncovered a mosaic of what could have been a Byzantine-era chapel. It's so interesting. I mean, it's crazy to think that I've been in this in Ramat Beit Shemesh so many times, and yet, like, you never even think about the history, so it's really cool have to be able to... Have you discovered anything? Yeah, so we actually found, uh, my group found, like, a piece of an oil lamp, and they said that it's from the time of the Second Temple, so it's really cool. Here, the students not only get their hands dirty from the Holy Land, but get a hand-on history lesson from the archaeologists. I think it's a new experience mm -hmm. it, uh, to get out of the class and learn outside, uh, digging in the deep, deep <laughs> in the ground and discover many new things. Uh, I think it's a marvelous uh, project. It's amazing. It's an amazing experiment. They love it. We, we teach them. They teach us. Um, they have really good hands. Um, we used to, we usually work with workers, but we, a few months we were working with kids from all kinds of places and it's a very nice experience. Do you think it bonds them to the land? Yeah, I'm sure it does. But this isn't the whole story. These youth who are digging up their ancient history will soon travel to Poland to uncover a more recent Jewish history, the Holocaust. Not all students can afford the trip. The Antiquities Authority recognized that they had a chance to connect Israel's ancient past with today and initiated this project. The money earned by the students will go to a fund to help pay for scholarships for their trip to Poland. So basically we have a Poland trip at the end of the year um, and we're trying to raise money to um, raise money for scholarships so that everyone who wants to go out to Poland will have the opportunity. The Antiquities Authority say they want to fund some 2,500 scholarships this year. And if this experiment works, this organization, which is digging up the past, will expand it in the future. Aria O'Sullivan for IBA News.